Hello the people of the Final Community. Today I would like to give you a showcase of my battle vests. Now, what is a battle vest or battle jacket? Well, within heavy metal we like to put patches on things. Like anything. It can be denim or leather jackets, it can be hats, dresses, skirts, kilts, trench coats, hats, scarves, but more commonly, <sighs> denim or leather jackets. Now this is my original vest here, which uh, the next time you see it, it's going to be completely overhauled. So I thought I would show you this one um, in depth before I rip it to pieces. I must start on the right side and we have King Diamond Abigail which is woven. Um, most of the rest of the patches on the front of this jacket are printed. Things with printed patches is that they get sun bleached like this one. Or they become incredibly faded, like this one and this one, which is why I'm wanting to strip this of patches completely. I do have a second one which I will show you after showing you this. So there is Iced Earth, Annihilator Never Neverland, which I also have on the wall back here. Halloween, Keeper of the Seven Keys, Sodom Agent Orange, Grand Magus the Hunt, Savotage Hall of the Mountain King, Hammerfall Legacy of Kings, Primal Fear Nuclear Fire, and the debut album from Wasp. We have a big Huge ass death logo patch right there. Moving over to the right side, we have Rat um, out of the cellar, Overkill the Years of Decay, and Black Sabbath Heaven and Hell. Switch over to the left side. There is um, Dio, uh, Black Sabbath, which I got from my mate Gary, and Slayer, all logo patches. Uh, Operation Mind Crime by Queensryche, Death Angel the Ultra Violence, which I have up here, which you can't really see that well. Um, but if I do tilt the camera up, you'll get a little bit of a spoiler for my upcoming. Um, collection update, which will not be for another couple of weeks. So yeah, um, Saxon, Denim and Leather, Destruction, Eternal Devastation, Testament, The New Order, which is right here, um, Ghost, Opus Eponymous, Creator, Logo Patch and a Metallica Logo Patch, Megadeth, Rust in Peace and Crimson Glory Transcendence, Finishing the front off with Iron Maiden and Testament long logo patches. Move on to the other side. <clears throat> and we have um, Dokken under lock and key, Death Symbolic, and Ozzy Osbourne Bark the Moon. Now the back, which. The back patch is um, Metallica uh, Damage Justice from the And Justice For All tour. It's not an original tour patch because I know that my dad could never afford to go to a show, let alone Metallica back in the day. So, um, yeah. Right, at the top, we got 
Judas Priest painkiller on a um, silkscreen patch, which I'm surprised is not ripped to pieces by the amount of times I threw my bag on top of um, this patch. Which I think is why this one and this one are so beaten up. Yeah, um, Rainbow Rising and Flotsam and Jetsam, Doomsday for the Deceiver are the two patches that make me want to completely rip everything off of this and to practically start from scratch. Um, there is Merciful Fate Melissa and Iron Maiden Power Slave. Continued on this side and... You have Anthrax Among the Living, which is one of the worst cases of sun bleaching on this thing. Uh, Sabaton Heroes. Blind Guardian Tales from the Twilight World. Motorhead Overkill. And Metallica Ride the Lightning. As for beneath the... Um, Metallica back patch, we have Blind Guardian and King Diamond logo patches. Going down the other side, Dio, Holy Diver, Accept, Blood of the Nations, Slayer, Seasons in the Abyss, and Creator, Gods of Violence. And that will do for the first vest tour. And as I said, next time you see this guy, he will be completely different. And by next time you see him, I don't mean the next time I happen to wear it. Because I will be wearing it a couple of times in um, videos in the future. Just to mix up um, appearances, you know, like how I frequently change the positioning of my camera in these videos. Like, I think this is going to be the um, permanent setup for my videos from now on. Uh, because I get the perfect amount of lighting. Uh, you can see my vinyl on the door. You can see most of my CD collections. So this is the best way for me to film videos for you guys. Anyway, enough talk about that rubbish. Let's move on to the main reason why I wanted to do this video. And to show you all in depth my current battle vest. If I can bloody cooperate with me. It's too bloody heavy. <laughs> uh, let's just go down um, this side. Start with, again, a Dio logo patch. Um, this vest here, not vest, patch here, um, I got from my mate Rob. And it is an original Life After Death patch from the same tour, but not from the same show that that was recorded. Um, it's Exodus, Blood In, Blood Out. Venom logo patch. Uh, this was bought from Missing Records in... No, not Missing Records. Record Fair, F-A-Y-R-E, in Glasgow. Along with um, badge packs for Ghost, Judas Priest, Death and Iron Maiden. But these two were bought from Missing Records uh, when they had their old location in Glasgow. They moved to a bigger place now. This Lemmy badge was bought from the Dundee Record Fair. Which I hope starts up again. Slayer, Rain and Blood. Not my favourite album from the band, but um, the cover is iconic. Uh, Judas Priest and Saxon. These two were on the first vest. Uh, this King Diamond patch was thrown in as a freebie with most of the patches you see here. Wasp Last Command, Sabotage, Hall of the Mountain King, Black Sabbath, Hitless Cross, and a second Metallica Ride the Lightning patch. Along with uh, this guy here too. So yeah, that was incredible. It's uh, shaped like a coffin, which works so well for King Diamond. 
Like, I love this patch. This makes my jacket. Uh, anyway, let's move our, over to the other side. Uh, there's Ozzy Osbourne at the top there. Man of War. Uh, these two were from um, eBay. Along with the um, ones on this side. Oh, and I forgot to mention that this um, Savatage one here is an original patch from the 80s. Anyway, uh, this guy here, Testament Brotherhood of the Snake, was bought in um, Record Fair along with um, Exodus and a couple more on this. Um, this one was on the original vest, it's eBay, eBay for Death Angel. Uh, these three buttons here were bought from Missing Records in the same bundle uh, that I got these two Iron Maiden ones here from. Uh, this little pin here is my schoolhouse badge. From Morgan Academy, that is Airlie House, and um, a Slytherin logo um, button there to show off my fictional schoolhouse. Yeah, I'm a massive nerd. And there is a Nightwish pin badge. Um, these two, Megadeth and Halloween. Patches were on the old vest. And um, Exciter Heavy Metal Maniac, which is one of my favourite albums nowadays. Like, I listened to that like two or three times and it made me want to buy this right away. And I did, as you can see. It's another Blind Guardian, Tales from the Twilight World, but on eBay. Uh, this Anthrax uh, one was bought. Uh, from uh, Record Fair when I went there for the first time a couple of years ago, which used to be on the original vest. And this destruction patch was part of the recent batch that I got from Record Fair, along with Testament, um, Metallica, Slayer, Exodus and the back patch Pleasure to Kill from Creator. Yeah, originally this vest was going to be a thrash metal themed vest only, but I couldn't help myself, I just decided to make another um complete package vest so there you go um two works in progress um the first one has had many different looks throughout the last almost four years that i've owned it for and um this guy will more than likely have a couple of configurations himself so yeah uh, the next time you will see these vests in a tour, they will be finished. Um, so when I do this video again, I will go over every patch on it again. Just to give you a refresher. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching as always. And um, I shall see you all in the next video. Rock on, bitches.